racing today? Um, it was terrific. You know, uh, you know, we talked after it came out, and we mentioned it in the meeting. Uh, you know, uh, certainly not his best stuff day, um, and that happens with pitchers. People say it's somewhere around, you know, 15% of the time where you know if you're a starting pitcher, you walk out and you have your best stuff. And what I mean by that is your best fastball velocity you command, your best slider velocity you command, change up curveball, all those types of things. Uh, but he certainly had enough today and, and made pitches. And just uh, again, it's hard to argue when you run out there and uh, pitch five scoreless and start the game. So uh, you can he can shoot. Showed immaturity with that, and uh, you know, uh, I thought just made pitches and the times made it look you know, pretty easy. Um, and uh, it's not easy out there. We can guys past couple weeks have gotten to the fifth or even into the sixth. Just kind of your overall feeling of them as a whole. I think, next week. yeah, they're co they're coming. You know, uh, we've talked so much about the bullpen, uh, but but you know, the, the the guys this weekend all did really well and got the fifth. And that's what you want, uh, especially if you, you have the bullpen like we do. You, you know, you hope that you can. You don't want to press it too early in the weekend, and you don't want to, you know, uh, you know, you know press it too too much on any given day. Uh, and you know, we I think we have enough arms to sometimes you know, get past that. And we did earlier in the season, but uh, you know, the last you know, couple of weeks have been nice. Yeah, I thought he was a difference maker. You know, we we said it shirt after the game and you know, uh, you know, that'll be the thing that gets lost in the box score and you know nobody will remember they people remember home runs and they remember you know, the, the last out uh, but you know uh, he comes in with the bases loaded gets us off the field uh, and then as you know a one two three inning the next inning and you, you, you look up and you win by one run at the time it didn't look like it was that big of a deal uh, but it was a huge deal you know, if he comes in and gives up a double you know it's probably a little different at the end of the game. Grayson had told us that one of the, the keys for him this year so far has been letting, letting you know, pitching, pitching the contact. Yeah. What, what is that a, a hurdle that a lot of freshmen have to overcome? That it's okay to let them hit it sometimes. Yeah, and, you know, and I think it's 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 a big hurdle. I don't yeah. think it's a little hurdle. I think you know, there's so much uh, swing and miss in the game at, at all levels. Uh, the strikeout is you know, certainly a lot sexier than the ground ball. Is you know, the shortstop and the six three and the, and the, and the scorebook. Uh, but you know, at the end of the day, winning's really good. And uh, you know, a lot of times when you're trying to miss bats, you know, you, you miss you know, the strike zone. And so subsequently, you know, trying to miss bats sometimes puts you in bad counts, puts you uh, puts runners on the bases. And uh, we've, we've talked about that, you know, the nausea with the team. You know, that last year that was one of our weak spots. And at times this year it hasn't been a strong spot for us. But if you look over the last four, uh, four or five games, um, not only our strike percentage, but our first base strike percentage has been super high. And I think that's the difference. Yeah, he uh, the fingers you know feeling good. Uh, he'll he'll definitely pitch on Tuesday night. Yeah, out of the pan, and uh, he's excited about it. Got a starter set for Tuesday against ULM so Maddox. far. Maddox. Maddox. You, you told us before the season that you kind of tried things with the lineup. Do, do you feel like you know your best nine at this point? Um, today, you know, but I think the lineup's always fluid. You know, and you know, guys. want to give them opportunities to succeed, but you also want to give them opportunities to be in tough situations. You know, who's going to be the guy that you want at the plate and, uh, you know, on, on the mound and, you know, at a defensive position. And so with all that being said, um, yeah, I think we feel pretty comfortable, uh, but that's not like nine straight guys. I mean, you know, right-handed, left-handed, you guys with good fastballs at your base, you guys with breaking balls. Uh, but uh, I think we feel really good where we are. But again, I think the lineup is everybody's worried about the rotation and lineup is more fluid than, than that. You know, uh, it's, you know, sometimes it changes guys that, you know, weren't swinging well or swinging, you know, you look at Hill and, you know, he, he's had a great weekend and a great four to four games and he's really swinging it well. Um, so, you know, it can flip like that. ULM on Tuesday, what, what are you guys, anything in particular you're looking for that game before? Just playing well. You know, you, you get to this point, you want to continue to play well. It's another opportunity on the road. I haven't been on the road, you know, uh, in the continental U.S., right? <laughs> and so a uh, chance tomorrow to get here early. We'll, we'll get in the weight room, uh, we'll eat, and then we'll get on the bus, go down there, practice uh, the night before, kind of like you would do. 
you know, for a regular weekend series because it's spring break, we're, we're able to do it uh, and then, you know, play and then come back. But, you know, again, another opportunity to play well, throw some more guys. And, you know, I say prepare for the weekend. I, when I say that, I almost bite my tongue because it's not, you know, it's not like it's a practice game. You're, you're going there to play well and, and to, to perform, uh, but another opportunity to do that. All right, guys.